in this video we're going to make a banner I'm making actually one from my mom's website I got her this I built it for her for her birthday it was uh, her birthday was May the 9th and today is the 18th anyway first thing we need to do is find out the size of the banner now this is the standard theme 2010 that comes with uh, WordPress and to find out the size of it this is the uh, dashboard for WordPress you simply go to parents header and this one is actually 940 by 198 but that's not the one that we're working on we are working on this one so how do we find out this banner size well I actually have a banner ruler, a ruler. So let's. I'm going to give this out for free at the end of this video, by the way. We want to go from the top of the blue to where the black starts, so that's roughly 180. So let's write that down. And now we turn this sideways. And we put it at the start right here. And slide this open and it's this is very touchy by the way. And it looks like it's about 980. So I better write that down too. Nine eighty by one eighty it's a good start. This is a very handy tool by the way. So we will exit. Okay. So next we open up a free program called Paint. Let's resize this to we need to click on this. 980 by 180 and that is the size that we need for this website so let's save it as a JPEG It's a lot easier building your own banner and a lot cheaper than it is to go and buy one and besides this way you can personalize it right now I need to go and find a pretty image to put in here and I just happen to have this and you can get these images anywhere pretty well so let's open this up and let's resize this Let's make it 980 wide. By that banner was 180. I don't want it to be the full height of it, just half the height. I'll have the gold on the top and white on the bottom for text. So half of 180 would be 90. And let's see how this looks if it doesn't stretch it out of shape too much. That's not too bad not too bad at all so let's select this I'm just left clicking dragging it let's copy this take it back to this banner paste it control V that is the start of the banner Yes, we'll save this. Why not? Now I need to get some images to put on here to make it personal. And I have these pictures saved here, but of course these are way, way different size. So let's select. This is my mom, by the way.
Then let's copy this, which is Control C. Let's open up Paint again. Let's bring this down. Let's left click again, right over in the corner. Let's paste that picture here, Control V. Now let's resize this to the 180 size. Little pixels. This time we can leave that clicked. Vertical. We'll make it a little bit less than 180 because we'll have it so that there's a little bit of gold at the top and a little bit of white at the bottom. So let's make it 160. See how it looks. Okay. That should do. Now let's select. We'll leave that white that's up top there. We'll leave that out. All right, let's copy it. Let's bring it over to the banner that we're building and we'll paste it. Control V. Actually, we could make it a little bit higher, couldn't we? It's not too bad, but. And to get rid of something that you pasted in, just hit this undo. So let's go back to this and resize it again. Vertical. And try 170. Okay. Oops. Try that again. Resize. Seventy. Okay, now let's select. Copy. Let's try it again. Paste Control V. Now let's bring it down a little bit so there's a little bit of gold on top. And center it between the top and the bottom. And how I'm doing this is I'm hitting the up arrow on the keyboard. But you always wondered what that was for, didn't you? At least I used to. Okay, that should do. Now we'll go pick up a picture of myself and my sister. Let's save this. Save as JPEG. mother so it'd be easy for me to find my brother and I call her data because her name is Ada and we don't call her Ada of course and let's save it okay this is me and this is my sister she's 11 months older than I am so for 11 months I'm sorry for three weeks every year we're the same age and this is me too and this was 1963 I'm just not quite as cute now as I was then. So let's grab these. Let's copy it. Let's open up Paint again. And let's paste it. Control V. Now let's resize this one to 170. Highlight, copy, bring it back to here, and paste, Control V. Bring it over to the other side, maybe. Now get it centered the best. That should do.
then we'll go back and save that picture. Save as JPEG. And we'll call it John and Wanda. Now we can say goodbye to that one. Now this banner we can save it. Let's save this as save as Ada Jervis because the spiders will actually pick this up. And we'll call it banner. Save. Now let's go to this website and let's try uploading this and see what happens. And this theme that I'm using here is from my web hosting company which is GVO and I'm hosting with them because it's very cheap hosting and they give us a whole bunch of tools, website builders and training for new people and Anyway, so if we were just in the regular dashboard, as soon as we log in, this is where we'll be. Right here, this is the dashboard. And this particular theme, and again, everyone's different. I just go to GVO and header. This is a very easy theme to work with, by the way. Okay, so now for this header, browse, and we save it as the Jarvis banner. Open, upload it. Let's see how it turns out. Scroll down here and click save and see how it looks on the website. Now just refresh. This is how easy it is to actually change a header. Okay, now what we need to do is change the color of this text. Change the text up a little bit. I think this part right here might look good as red. So how we do that is this is a this is the title here and this is the description of the banner so we need to go to color just left click on it and grab these arrows and pull them up to red and then left click on this little circle right here now for this white trying to think which color would be best for it and also I might bring it up a little bit and how do we bring this up this is the title so right up here is the title move up okay now color let's play around with this color I'm not a color guy, so I am definitely not an artist. That might be alright as black. Okay. okay, let's save it just to see how it looks. refresh this. Need to take that shadow out there. That oh, no, that didn't quite do it. Okay, we need to get rid of the shadow. Let's just try changing this font from times to Arial and see what happens. And let's save. Refresh. Oh. Shadow is gone, but we need to bring it over now to the left. 
and we know how to do this just like this first we'll center this so that we can see that it's centering and we click left that's pretty close now we need to center this too a little bit description goes over now let's save that and take a look see how it looks refresh it's probably not the best color but at least now you know how to do it right this picture here probably should have went up a little bit to leave a little bit of white on the bottom but again I'm not a perfectionist so I'm not going to worry about it so if you are interested in this ruler what I want you to do Let's go to this website, securaprojectworldwide.com. You click on join free, and cost is zero dollars. This is my company, and I give away bronze memberships. And Sakura is actually my granddaughter's name. Just enter your first name and your email address, pick out a username and a password and you click submit and in the back office of this is a download of this ruler at least there's going to be tomorrow my son Jesse is putting it in the download section and to be honest there's some really good free training uh, free stuff in the back office to download for free okay bye bye